Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan here. Welcome to another channel update for April 23rd. Uh, I apologize for the, the large amount of channel updates in the past few days. There's been three actually. This is the third one. Um, but this one I had to disc I had to make one because there's a few things that have changed. Uh, nothing schedule wise, but just a few occurrences that have made me change dates of stuff. And let me explain myself. Uh, first off, before before I get onto that, uh, the Portal 2 and SoCon 4 playthroughs are finished. Uh, the single player for both. Uh, if you want to check those out, feel free. I'd say it was pre pretty. I love the Portal playthrough. SoCon 4 was nice. It was a nice change of pace. Uh, which leads me to the, this discussion. Uh, as you guys know, I, I will be doing my the co-op campaign of Portal 2 and uh, SoCon Force multiplayer. Now, there's a bit of a conundrum at the moment. <laughs> um, this is what I'm going to try and do. Now, I originally told you guys I was going to do Portal 2 on Sunday, a.k.a. tomorrow. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do it tomorrow, but it's been postponed till Tuesday. Now, let me tell you why. Uh, I talked to my old friend that I used to work with uh, a couple years back. We've been good friends for a while. Um, I, I asked him, I said, hey man, do you, you want to play Portal 2 co-op campaign with me and uh, put it up on YouTube because I've been doing playthroughs and he's been kind of out of the loop with that. So I asked him, he said, yeah, I'd, be, I'd love to do co-op commentary with you. I'm like, great. Uh, so I originally thought he said it would be, he'd be free on Sunday. But he said, no, I'm out of town till Monday, and since I'm working Monday, uh, my day's off is Tuesday. So he's going to come and come by, and we're going to do the co-op campaign on Tuesday. So it's just been postponed a couple days. Now, what I originally thought I would do in the meantime is on Sunday, tomorrow, I would uh, do the SoCom 4 multiplayer. But there's a problem. <laughs> For everyone who owns a PS3 and plays PS3 online, you'll know that PSN has been down for the past day or so. I mean, it's been ridiculous. At first, it just said you try to sign in, and it'll say cannot connect, the error, blah blah blah, and you keep trying. You're like, shit, is it mine? Is it my? Is it my internet being a douchebag or something? I don't know. But uh, it turns out everyone's been having the problem, and eventually, they PSN said or PS3, uh, Sony would leave you a message saying PlayStation Network is under under maintenance. So I don't know when the maintenance is gonna lift. If it's lifted by tomorrow, I'll definitely do the SoCom 4 multiplayer first. That way, I can leave. Uh, Portal 2 uh, co-op for later, uh, but until then, uh, let's hope we have it tomorrow, because there's literally nothing for me to do, and I'd like to do, because my day off is tomorrow as well, and I'd like to spend that day doing something, because definitely, I could definitely do one of these for sure, but I'd rather, I'd wish that I could get it all done at the, the right time, so hopefully PSN's back up tomorrow, maybe it'll even be up tonight, I'll check, and if that's the case, I'll probably do some multiplayer tonight, and then spare myself some time tomorrow, although then I won't have anything to do tomorrow. So I, I really wish I could do the, the playthrough uh, tomorrow, but for co-op, like for Portal 2 co-op, but uh, fortunately uh, I'm not going to be able to make it until Tuesday. So that's just a couple days away, so I wouldn't worry about it. But um, yeah, so unfortunately my friend couldn't make it until Tuesday. So Tuesday's fine though, because uh, uh, like, I, I, like I would love to play with you guys. I mentioned I would do a contest, but I explained this before. It's very tough to get everyone to show up on time, have the correct equipment, and with just my friend here over doing a split screen, it'd be a ten times easier just for me, because it'd just be like me doing a regular playthrough. I wouldn't have to go through saying, okay, if you if the person that I would play with over live Xbox Live had a mic or, or was wasn't uh, you know was wasn't new to commentary, meaning they did it often, they they were also a commentator. They'd have their own method, and I'd be like, okay, start your recording right now, or whatever. Then I'd have to time it. They'd have to send me their file over file share, or, or like a file sharing website, or whatever the case is. And uh, that'd just be too much trouble. So if I just have two people talking into one mic, this works perfectly. So uh, that's going to be really cool. I can't wait to do that, because my friend and I, we like when we worked together, um, we wouldn't stop talking about Portal, man. We love Portal. And we'd often sing, like, call each other up, because we used to, I used to work in a water park as a, as a, as a lifeguard there. And uh, when, da downtime, we'd call each other on our, on the phones at each, at each slide, and we'd, we, all of a sudden, just, we wouldn't say hello or anything, but it just start singing the, uh, Still Alive song at the end. It was, it was hilarious. Yes, we were big nerds back then, and we still kind of are, but that's all right. Nerds grow. I mean, I guess I'm kind of more of the, uh, cultured nerd, because I like to dress nicely, and I like to, uh, because I don't, I don't eat, sleep, and breathe gaming. I just do it because I enjoy 
uh, putting out entertaining footage for you guys. Like honestly, that's pretty much what it is. And then there will be a game that I do like that I'll play for myself, but definitely not as into gaming as I used to, as I used to be as a teenager because. Uh, Definitely changed a lot, but still, it's going to be great. I can't wait to play. He he's played a few levels himself, so he's familiar with it, and we both are. It's going to be great. We'll we'll have a lot of fun doing it. So I can't wait for that. Anyways, um, moving on. Uh, so I asked you guys in the last channel update to inform me when uh, if you know which games have PS3 or Xbox 360 exclusives. Meaning, uh, this particular game comes out for both systems. But usually, one will, one will throw at you a reason to buy it for that console. And most of the time, the PS3 does it. And I don't get why Xbox, why Microsoft isn't jumping on this bandwagon and throwing in exclusives for their console. You know what I mean? But all the time when you see, when you look at these games, you look and it says, oh, if you pre-order for PS3 or if you buy it for PS3, you get this and that map, you get this and that character, blah, 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 you get this and that mission, well, with Xbox 360, you get nothing. You just get the same exclusive, like if you get pre-ordered at, like, say, GameStop or EB Games or something like I do, you'll get the exact same bonus um, just on a different console, but whereas on the PS3, you'll get, like, a bunch of extra shit that Xbox wouldn't have. And I don't get why Xbox isn't doing that. So, um, basically, what's going to happen here is the next game's for May. Now, I'll be doing a game update in May, because I like to do one, one every month for, you know, telling you what new games have been added or what games are in that particular month. Um, first thing, though, for Brink, I did some research. Brink is available on PS3, Xbox, and PC, although there's no exclusive content for either of them, so I'm just going to get it on 360s, considering it's a very, it's a cooperative game, eight-player co-op, I know that. Uh, I think it's got a single-player campaign as well. But uh, I prefer the Xbox Live to PSN for sure. Xbox Live is a, a little more user friendly, and I, I prefer Xbox Live to PSN. Uh, it's just easier to maneuver, easier to access, easier to use. So I'm just going to take it for Brink is going to be on Xbox. Uh, but then um, coming out on the 17th, which I am dying to play, guys. Like this game is just, I can't wait. Everyone can't wait for it. It's going to be phenomenal. And that is uh, L.A. Noir. Now, L.A. Noir is. Um, another game by Rockstar, except it's in a new direction. It's, um, it's kind of sandboxy, but at the same time, not so much. Like, I mean, it, yeah, it's got a sa sandbox, aspect, sandbox aspect, just like all Rockstar games do. But this one's completely different. Instead of just running around, killing each other, running each other over, blah, 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 you're, um, <coughs> you're, you're a detective in the, in the late 40s, and I think it's 1947, I believe the game's set in. And you're a detective, and you you solve different cases, and I think that is so awesome. And basically, I asked you guys to help me out with with, with these exclusives, and I found out from you guys that PS3 you get a bonus case, meaning like a bonus mission, pretty much, so a case to solve. And so basically, with no brainer, I mean, I'm gonna get it for PS3. Simple. I mean, it's funny because you think that the Xbox would be like, okay. Here's a, here's a blockbuster title, uh, everyone's anticipating it, but the, our competitors PS3 are releasing an uh, exclusive bonus mission for the same price as us. Fuck it, we won't, we won't add anything. The, we have a lot of Xbox, you know, a lot of people who are Xbox friendly and they, they only have an Xbox. That may be true, guys. However, for the people who have both consoles, like myself, um, we're going to look at the better value. And since I have both... I see that PS3 has more levels, more missions. I'm going to buy it for PS3. Simple. And here's the other thing. P uh, one person came up to me and said, or not literally, but you know what I mean. He sent me a message saying, Hey Dan, it sucks that P at, uh, L.A. Noir isn't going to have any um, multiplayer. I say, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute, man. Think about it. I'm glad it doesn't. And be before you guys freak out, what are you talking about, Dan? Multiplayer is awesome. And I agree. I love the multiplayer in games too. But when you don't have a multiplayer... You focus on the single player, and a great single player story doesn't need a multiplayer at all. Look at Mass Effect. Don't need it. So many games that don't have multiplayer don't need multiplayer, because it's just so good that you don't need it. So when you focus on just a storyline, you have me. Because a good storyline, I play most games for storylines. I'll play multiplayer occasionally, but the story of the single player is what I love the most about video games. That's just me. So I can't wait for it. I'm going to get it on PS3. I know that if you pre-order a GameStop, you get, um, what is it? I think, um, I'm pretty sure it's another bonus case, another case, like a, 
case to solve. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure if you, if you get it at EB Games, like I'm pre-ordering at EB Games, as you guys know, that's what I pre-order all my games. So I'll be getting the bonus, two bonus cases because I'm getting it on PS3 and I'm pre-ordering at EB Games. I looked it up and if you pre-order like things like Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon, things like that, you'll get different suits, like detective suits. Who needs that? I want more bonus content, man. So we're getting it for PS3 and for um, PS3 at EB Games. Bing, bang, boom. I was originally going to get it for PS3 as well, but I just wanted people to confirm it for me. And then thank you guys. Keep it up, because honestly, I don't always have the time to look up what games have exclusives, especially when I'm in the middle of a doing in the middle of doing a game, and then another game's releasing later. Someone can say, "Hey, Dan, get this." And for that, like, I I, I want you guys not to be biased with your uh, opinions either. Like, if you're a PS3 fan and you know that Xbox is releasing a uh, a bonus content that PS3 isn't, which I don't I don't think you have to worry about because Xbox never does that for some reason. But uh, if you do know that, even I don't want you just to say get it on PS3 when Xbox has an exclusive, whereas PS3 doesn't. So don't don't be like biased with your opinion. Don't be a fanboy with it. Um, if you know which console has a better, has an exclusive bonus, or if they both have bonuses, tell me what they are, and I can make my decision between the two. So I just want to get the most out of my experience and what I prefer. Now I regret doing not getting the PS3 versions of Dead Space 2 and. Um, and uh, Portal 2, as I mentioned, mainly because in Dead Space 2, you get, you get, you get Dead Space Extraction for free. That's right, for free. And I, uh, people told me you don't need the PS Move to do it. And I'm like, sweet. So I should have got it for that. But whatever, you live, you learn. Whatever. Um, and also for Portal 2, you get um, Portal 2 on PC as well. And I have a, a good PC that can handle Portal. I looked at it. So... I could have got more bonus content there, and there was one other thing that set it aside from the rest. There was an extra piece of content that you could get in the PS3 version. But I didn't take that opportunity. I'm not going to let it happen again. So if you guys do know, please keep it up. Keep telling me what consoles I should, like what exclusives are for what console. That way I get the most bang for my buck. Make sense? Cool. All right, so that's that. Uh, pretty much that. That's pretty much all I got to cover. Um, Oh, and finally, uh, Fear 3 also comes out at the end of May, at, on the 24th. Um, I looked it up. It appears there's not much of an exclusive content. However, I, on the PS3, they are releasing um, a, a shotgun. Just That's it. That's all I know of. If that's the case, I'm just going to get it on Xbox. Because, like, as you guys know, I prefer the Xbox controller to a PS3 controller. It's just more comfortable. It's what I've known for years. So it's just just, you know, more comfortable to me compared to the PS3 com controller, but, however, that's what we're going to do, F as it stands, Brink is going to be Xbox 360, L.A. Noir is going to be PS3, and, uh, for now, as for starters, depending what you get, Fear 3 is going to be on Xbox 360 as well, and until then, I until the more games come out, I'll let you know what consoles I'm getting it and so on, I'll mainly, I'll tell, re repeat this in the game update for May, when, you know, early May, I'll do another game update, so, that's it guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for hopefully so come for multiplayer tomorrow if PSN gets back up, um, and then Portal 2 campaign on the Tuesday, and you'll probably see footage on Tuesday evening or Wednesday, because I'm, I don't think I'll have time to stop and edit like I said I would, but we'll see about that, and week 2 of the Gears of War 3 beta, uh, releases on the 25th, and this is the open public, so everyone who pre-ordered Gears of War 3, before the end, uh, before before now, April 25th, I believe it was, you get the a bonus code to uh, access the beta. So technically, this is week one for you guys. Week two for me because I got Bullet Storm and it had it in it. So week two, so you'll be seeing week two footage of later on in the week. I don't know if I'll do it on Monday, which is the 25th. That's when it releases, um, or if I'll do it Wednesday or something like that. I don't know. I have a whole week to do it, and there's new two new two new maps and a game new game type to try out. So I'm gonna try out, like I said, the new maps and the new game types each week. So there's gonna be four weeks total. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for all that, and I'll see you guys later.